So we just confirmed that. Sorry, Chris Betancourt and Dylan Hill learned the meaning of friendship in the fifth grade. The experiences we've had together are really, really emotional. Chris diagnosed with chronic leukemia as a child, overcoming medical odds. I would visit him just about every day in the hospital, and I would try and make the next day more entertaining than the last. Now 20 years old, Chris is yeah, once good. again it's about, it's facing life or death. Half. Mine was a mutation they've never even seen before, and they were just like, it's definitely not good, it's not responding to any medication. The cancer cells are back with a vengeance. And unfortunately, he said I have about a year to two years with yeah, good that's... diet exercise. The first weeks were just tears. It was literally me just breaking down. The only option, a bone marrow transplant. He literally said to me, I'm afraid of not being able to experience life. Dylan going just beyond yeah. listening, taking leave from college for something bigger. Kind of Last month, my best friend called me and told me he was dying. Creating an epic bucket list and posting their journey online. <laughs> if we can't have Chris this time next year, that, you know, we're going to document his life. Turns out their mission to experience life is catching on. I kept updating it and it was like 60,000, 90,000, over 100,000, and it was just ridiculous. In just days, the video generating hundreds of thousands of views, inspiring a call to action. Luckily, this has all been reaching into us. We haven't reached out to anyone. Everyone's just seen the video and have been like, hey, let us support you, let us support you. Crossing off an ever-growing bucket list to create awareness. There's hundreds of other people on the registry currently waiting for bone marrow, and if it's not my life it saves, hopefully there can be others. Reminding us all the value of savoring each moment right down to the last. He's not going to go out with a slow burn. He's going to go out with a huge bang, and he's really going to go out with a smile. In Sacramento, Vicky Gonzalez, KCRA 3 News.